huge welcome to one of my favorite writers, the double act, Michael Stanley, of Michael Steers and Stanley Trollope. I think you're going to find they have a lot of interesting things to say about writing, collaboration, and writing novels set in Botswana. What a great location. Don't give up your day job. <laughs> Sam. Don't compromise. Always seek for the best you can. I guess I would probably choose Deadly Harvest, our fourth book. And I would choose Death of the Mantis, a book with the backstory of the Bushman in the Kalahari. Well, everywhere. Uh, in hotel rooms, in my house, in Botswana. Uh, we get together in Botswana for research and uh, that enables us to do a lot of brainstorming. I don't have any special place. I can write anywhere. I'm a big fan of John le Carre's work. I find that I read his books about three times, once to enjoy, or once to try and understand how on earth he pulls off the things that he does. Probably the book that had the biggest impact on me wasn't really a, a detective or mystery, and that was uh, Neville Shoots on the Beach. Uh, it just absolutely grabbed me, and I thought that when uh, I woke up the next morning, I was going to be dead. <laughs> Eating and drinking. I have no guilt about eating and drinking. <laughs> My guilty pleasure is spending time with the stamp collection. <laughs> Negative. Uh, no. I don't, no. no. None at all. Mm -mm. Well, I wrote a few short stories when I was at university and uh, fortunately they never got published by anyone, they were science fiction. And really, uh, really, the enthusiasm just just grew from the discussions we had together, and from reading a lot of uh, a lot of crime fiction. Stan, um, I've always been a writer, and I've never sort of felt completely uh, that it was a requirement of my life. I've written probably seven uh, non-fiction books before I started writing fiction, but once I started writing fiction, I was definitely hooked. We don't have a very rigorous outline. We are what uh, it's commonly called pantsers. We have a broad view of what the book's going to be about, the backstory, probably know who the, the bad guy or guys uh, are going to be. And then we just set off and, and see where, where the story takes us. I have lost some chapters on one occasion and uh, I had to rewrite them. And then I found them, of course, after that. Yeah, that happens occasionally, and because there are two of us, we have to be extremely careful to make sure that we have the we are each working on the right version of a piece. Uh, but there's nothing worse, I think, in terms of being creative than to try and recreate something that you've already done. <laughs> My question is, are you Michael? <laughs> Well, I'm not sure that I hate it, but, but people do ask us, why Botswana? You're South Africans, why do you write in Botswana? And there's a long answer to that, but we're glad that we do it now because it enables us to explore things in Southern Africa which perhaps are a bit different from the legacy of apartheid which most South African crime authors were, uh, concentrate on. And my question to you, Stan, is, are you Michael? <laughs> <laughs> One of us chooses some section and uh, does a first draft and uh, we, don't, we don't even live in the same city so we send it to the other person by email and... And then we talk a lot over Skype and correct each other's uh, work and then send it back. So each chapter or piece or set of chapters can bounce back and forward maybe 20 times sometimes. Do you ever argue, say, my God, you couldn't bloody do that? Absolutely. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> and sometimes it's very good that we're on different continents. <laughs> but we do have a protocol if we can't uh, come to some compromise, and that is whoever wrote it first gets to keep it. Michael Stanley, thank you so much. So, are two heads better than one when it comes to writing? I'll leave you to judge.